morning guys so outfit of the day I'm all JC pennied out today surprise surprise so let's start with the top it's this kind of like I feel very like I don't even know how to just like like if a pilgrim was an artist I feel like this is what that pilgrim would wear and like they would keep their brushes in this these little pockets and it just so happens to be from the decree brand it has this little tie here which you tie up so that it's not so loose oh i don't know why i turned the camera with me <laughs> so that it's not so loose and um gives you more shape but i mean i like loose things too so it might end up that way by the end of the day then i have my ripped skinny jeans from decree which i've recently got and you can still get at jc penny my shoes are my navy blue flats from target and then my jewelry is just my mint target watch my ropey ring my tiffany ring and my black hair tie and my hair is all natural and for fragrance during the week i've just been wearing lady gaga's fame fragrance i like it for a day-to-day -day fragrance and this is my full outfit for today omg it is so freaking hot in this car I parked outside last night because sometimes I do if there's like a parking space available. Usually I park inside the garage, but if there's, like I said, a spot available, I'll park outside. Oh my, it says it's 107 degrees outside. That can't be right. And I'll find my lip maximizer and I know I'm pumping it, but it's a sample size, so it's not gonna last that long. I might actually consider buying the full size of this because I really liked it yesterday so now I'm just heading to work and it's so effing hot I can't even deal I might tie my hair up so I can open the windows because since I have gloss on even though it's not super sticky my hair will still get stuck in it and I'm not a fan of that so we're gonna actually yeah I have to open these windows and if I open the windows that means you guys are gonna hear the noise from outside which I don't think you want to hear so I'm going to talk to you all later i think it's a sign it's a huge coca-cola truck can you guys see it oh my god i'm obsessed so i'm walking to get lunch and i think i didn't i think i forgot to mention to you guys that i weighed myself this morning and i lost another two pounds two pounds away from my 15 pounds loss mark i'm at 13 pounds loss right now so it's very exciting and I lost those two pounds in a month. Now, I know for a lot of you that might not be fast enough for you that are on a weight loss journey. And I've lost weight quick. Um, I've done that before. And then I start eating normal or what used to be normal to me. And I would gain it all back. And I was able to do this with the help of my trainer by eating what I still like to eat but in moderation and cutting out sugars carbohydrates but not completely out of my life because it's not realistic those are things that I enjoy and I'm gonna continue to eat because I only live once you know I only really truly cheat once a month for now um, since I'm still you know in the weight loss part of it I'm not trying to maintain yet I still have a lot more that I want to lose but I'm doing it slowly so that it will stay off because I'm over doing all these programs and losing all this weight really quickly and it's really effective and I look really great and then I eat a hamburger and I gain it all back. It's a waste of time honestly to be completely honest and I don't have time to waste. So, but yeah, I'm really happy. Two pounds, yay. I just picked up my Chipotle and it is hot as balls outside but it looks like it's gonna rain. Oh, somebody I know is walking over here, gotta stop. Sorry about that, I had to say hi to him and I was not about to try to explain what the hell I'm doing right now. Yeah, he's one of my manager friends from Chipotle, but so yeah, it's just, it's really hot, but there's like all these big clouds in the sky, so it's definitely going to rain, which sucks because today's running outside day and I don't like to run in the rain because I don't like getting wet. Now I'm just walking back to the office. I don't know what was wrong with me yesterday. Like, the fact that my phone died, like, made me feel so off that I just, once it got recharged, I feel like I forgot that I was vlogging every day or whatever. Now I'm walking back to the office and there's some strange person behind me. But she's not even paying attention to me. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention. If you want to vlog and you feel like people are going to look at you funny, and you know 
whatever, just realize that probably 90% of the time, nobody's looking at you. <laughs> like, there are some times that, yeah, people will stare, but most of the time when you think they are, they're really not because people are too busy with their own, you know, stuff that nobody's really concerned with what you're doing because not everything is about us and we tend to forget that and yeah like right now I'm vlogging and I'm sure there might be one person that might be looking at me but the rest of them are just going about doing their own thing and they could care less about what I'm doing right now so just keep that in mind and do what you want you only live once y'all yalla hey kids so don't mind me just picking up my mop. I dropped off my trainer. We didn't go to the gym, but we did cardio. And we did our first run on the beach. If you guys follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, I always um, like will post my runs from the Nike Run app onto Twitter. So you could see like where I run and how far I run and how many calories I burned and whatever. And then today I took like a snap screen of it on my um, iPhone and I posted it on Instagram because it was my first ever beach run and it was intense. The worst part about it, of it was like wherever there was really, really soft sand because we ran on the sand going up and then coming back we ran on the ground. So we ran 15 minutes on the beach and then 15 minutes back. And the worst part was definitely the mushy sand, like the soft sand, because I literally felt like I was going to fall, like trip and fall and like bust my ass. Then there was a certain part of the beach where it stopped being like so soft and it was hard sand. So that was fairly easy and I didn't have to stop basically at all uh, when it was the harder sand. But when it was the soft sand, I did have to stop a couple times because it was just so hard. And then running back was fine. It was really hot because the sun was setting on the west, which is how it works here. But it was like blazing on, like on us coming this way. Like it was blazing on the right side of my face. And then coming back, it was blazing on the left side of my face. So it was just like hot all around. And the funniest part was that there's like a section of the beach here where I live that's a nude beach. Yeah, I don't think he realized that we were running towards it and we totally ran through it like older Like men and there was like tons of families and you could tell they're like probably European and that's like okay where they live But yeah, I'm traumatized. I told him like thanks for taking me that way. I really appreciate it. So let me turn the light on I finished eating dinner. I had what did I have for dinner? Oh, I had some chicken, like, drumstick things, legs, what are those called? <laughs> I had three of them. Oh my god, they were so good. But I mean, legs don't really have that much protein on them, so I had three of those. Had some broccoli, and I had a little side of, um, fresh mozzarella with tomato, balsamic vinegar, oil, the whole shebang. It's really good. And I'm so sore from that run. Do you like the guy on my shirt? Um... Oh my god, I'm like sore in places that I've never felt sore. And I've never felt this sore after a run. Like, whoa, the resistance of that sand. Why does this, oh, not that one. Why does this eye look weird? Anyway, the resistance of that sand is crazy. But anyway, so now I'm just going to watch some YouTube videos in bed. I watched like a whole bunch at the dinner table so that I wouldn't lay down right away after eating. And now, sorry, I stopped the video by accident with my finger. So I was saying, now it's time to lay down. I'm so pooped. Ugh. Grandmother's like freaking out because apparently the moon looks really nice. Holy shit! I'm gonna flip the camera around so they can see it. So of course the iPhone is gonna do it no justice, and it's kind of confused on what it's focusing on. But that's the big, the moon is humongous and it's not even completely circular. And that's the beach right there that it's illuminating. It's so pretty. Excuse the dirty window. Oh my God. You were right, Tita. You were right. Oh yeah. It was like right, like right here in this area. And it was like orange colored and it had clouds around it. And it was really pretty. Tita, you're the best. 
el cielo cuando ponen a la bruja que se ve la luna a través de la bruja así eso es lo que pasa okay guys so I'm going to bed I'm like hot it's really like and my grandmother said it's because I wear t-shirts and pants to sleep but whatever Tita say good night to the friends good night Good night, friends. Good night, friends. <laughs> good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good, have a good time. A good time. <laughs> Where are they going? Bueno, lo que son marimos, eh? Oh, ill. Bye.